So what's good YouTube, it's Gabriel, just over the Fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content of this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Y'all been hit that subscribe button a lot lately. I really appreciate y'all. Let's keep doing it. Um, so Deshaun Watson has been one of the most talked about topics of this offseason, um, most controversial topics. Um, but now we kind of got a little bit of a definite on what's going on with Deshaun Watson in the future. So, uh, independent judge, former federal judge, uh, Sue L. Robinson gave Deshaun Watson or recommended Deshaun Watson get a six game suspension. And it looks like the NFL PA is going to go with that. And they don't want the NFL to fight back on it. The NFL has like three days to appeal this suspension. It doesn't look like they're going to, according to the reports. We'll see if that changes. Um, but six, six games is obviously, oh, to me, it's obvious that it's too, it's too little. Uh, you got women, 20, 30 women that's uh, come forward. You got another, you know, 20 plus that haven't. It's, it's way too many people to say that everybody is lying, right? Even if you have a couple that aren't telling the truth, if you have one woman that's telling the truth, that's, that's enough, you know? And for what Deshaun Watson has been accused of, I just don't get how you can have this many allegations and be like, yeah, that guy's innocent. It's all a money grab for these ladies. Like, you know how hard it is to get two people to tell the same lie, not trying to get 27, 30 people to tell the same lie. It's just that that just doesn't make sense to me. Um, it's just, and it's a bad look for the NFL because they just suspended Calvin Ridley a whole year for betting $1,500 on a football game that he bet his own team to win. He didn't even participate in the game, so it wasn't even like a, um, it wasn't even a, a, about his interest, you know, it wasn't like, oh, he's playing in the game, he's throwing the game, and he wants his team to lose, like, he was, a, he was already away from the team, he bailed him to win, that guy found out, and now he's spending for an entire year for that, um, you know, I saw a tweet where it kind of went, kind of went down, like, different suspensions and things like that, like, Josh Gordon getting 78 games in total, um, over his NFL career for just, for smoking marijuana, uh, Plesko Burns got four games for shooting himself, you know, and Deshaun Watson gets six games for having 20 plus allegations that he had to settle himself. And then another 30 plus that the Texans had to settle on their end. So it's a lot of cases, a lot of lawsuits for them, just, for, for me just to say, yeah, you know, they got it right. Deshaun Watson was a victim here. And, you know, these women were, they saw a man with money and they went after that. The whole Deshaun Watson thing is just really, it's just, it's, it's sad because I, I, I did like Deshaun Watson, you know, I thought he was one of the role models for, especially black quarterbacks, you know, um, but I don't know how you can defend that, even if you're a Browns fan, I don't know how you can defend the behavior, um, simple as that, right, um, that's, that, that's really what I, what I got to say about Deshaun Watson, now, since that's, that's, what's it, that's what it is now, okay, nothing we can do about that, what does it mean for football? So, he's going to be suspended the first six games of the season. And for Ravens fans, this matters to us because week seven, his first game back, will be against the Baltimore Ravens. Now, after having a six-game suspension, missing a year and a half of football, playing the Ravens, I don't think it's going to be go so well for Deshaun Watson. I'm just going to put that on record. Um, he's going to need to get back to a rhythm of flow of playing live action games, right? Now, training camp is one thing. He can't play in the preseason. He won't play in the first six games of the season. So he's going to be trying to find rhythm with new with a new team, new playbook, new weapons in week seven versus defense that I expect to be very, very good in the Ravens. Um, I, did a, I did a season prediction for the Ravens a while ago. Uh, I think the Ravens do go four and two in the division. Um, I think they uh, split with the Browns. I do. I think the Browns probably get a second game in Cleveland. I think they split with the Bengals, and I think they sweep, they sweep the Steelers this year. So with Deshaun Watson coming back in week seven, um, I think the Ravens do win that game. Now, the Browns' schedule apparently is one of the easier schedules going on for the first six weeks of the season. So we'll see what that puts their record at by the time they come to Baltimore. Um, that that could also have a bearing on what they do. Uh, but I can't imagine the Browns saying that, no, even if the Browns were 6-0 and and Jacoby Brissett was playing well, Deshaun Watson is going to have to play that game, I would assume, because they paid him all of that money. They're not going to say, well, you know, we're going against a tough team. Let's sit you out real quick, Deshaun. Let you get up the rhythm. No, nah, they're, they're going to play him. So 
But his first game to be back versus the Ravens, I think it's going to be a tough one for him. Uh, that's just my honest opinion about that. Uh, I'm trying to pull up the Browns schedule right now. So it looks like they get they get uh, you know the Panthers week one, then Jets, Steelers, Falcons, Chargers, Patriots, and then the Ravens. So yeah, I mean you know it's 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 a, it's a nice schedule. Panthers they should beat the Panthers, Jets, Steelers, Falcons. And then Chargers would be a tough game for him. Patriots could be a tough game for him as well. But the Browns could really be four and two, five and one coming out of those six games of the season, heading into Baltimore to play um, another division team in the, in, in the Ravens after playing the Steelers in that six game stretch. Uh, we'll see what happens with the Browns. Uh, Jacoby Brissett is a okay quarterback, so he could carry the load for the first you know, six games of the season until Deshaun Watson comes back. But it, it almost feels arbitrary to talk about football when something like that has happened with Deshaun Watson. I'm sorry. Um, it reminds me a lot of, obviously, you know, Big Ben situation. Uh, fortunately, he's going to play football, and it's probably going to blow over, and it's almost going to be like, oh, remember when we was talking about Deshaun Watson doing this or that? And that, that's the unfortunate part, you know what I mean? But that's the NFL has their policies. They have their, their structure. And that's what it is, you know. Um, but Deshaun Watson, like, he's going to be suspended six games. Still, like, the NFL is going to appeal that. That's what the NFL PA wants. And that's what it is, man. So, we'll see Deshaun Watson week seven at the bank. And, and that's that, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.